Hi everyone and welcome to my new video. In this video we are going to be working with Raspberry Pi Pico. It is a great device, it is, great, it is a great microcontroller. So we are going to be making an oscilloscope. For those of you who don't know what an oscilloscope means, it is a device that we can use to measure a signal. So we can see the signal's frequency, how the signal goes, so it's, it's history and a lot of interesting things. It is great uh, if you want to debug something, so you can inspect the circuit and, and see how it goes. But also it is great for creating new, new electronics, for designing new circuits. For hobbyists like me, I don't want to spend a lot of money buying an oscilloscope because especially great oscilloscopes, precise, uh, can cost uh, a lot of money. The video is gonna be easy so if you like this kind of videos please subscribe to my channel it means a lot to me and it helps me uh, and it motivates me to continue uh, working and continue filming myself while I'm doing these electronics uh, things and, and microcontroller programming and things like that so thank you for that so the microcontroller came unsoldered to me so I will have to solder it so now I'm, I'm, I'm gonna solder it and after that we are gonna continue uh, working and I'm gonna share everything that you need to know uh, to make an oscilloscope for yourself. So enjoy! Next, we are going to need a couple of resistors. So we've got two 1K resistors put together between the 3 volts uh, pin and the ground uh, on the Raspberry Pi Pico in order to create a voltage divider to be able to read also a negative uh, signal or negative voltages. And also we've got 100K resistors put on the signal pin or the input pin. Uh, so basically for overcurrent protection. We are gonna need to connect the Raspberry Pi Pico to our computer using a USB cable. While pressing the boot button on the device, we are gonna be able to access the device through our computer and just drag and drop the, the code that I'm gonna leave down in the description so you can, you can download the code and just drag it uh, and drop it uh, to the device like that. After uploading the code, we've gotta download this application from Google Play Store, just search for Scopy and use an OTG cable to connect the device to our phone. And here is the example that I created. So I'm using Arduino Nano here to send a PVM signal on one of our pins. And at the same time, I'm reading that pin, I'm reading that uh, signal with our oscilloscope. As you can see, we can display and see how the signal looks. Also, we, we, we can see some other information that the, the oscilloscope gives us, like Vmin, Vmax, frequency, duty cycle, and some other interesting things. That is my first time using uh, the application, so we can adjust time per division and also volts per division, etc. So all in all, uh, you know, for the price, for the money, I'm not saying that it is the best device, the best oscilloscope that you can uh, you can buy, but you know, it is great for for the price. We can uh, see the signal uh, and and see how it goes. Thank you for watching, that was everything that I've got. If you like this kind of videos where you're gonna be able to create something for yourself without having to spend a lot of money, please subscribe to my channel. 
uh, and I'm gonna continue uploading videos like videos like this one so I'm gonna be playing a little bit with the device now and see how it works uh, in a better way uh, so enjoy and bye bye